Okay, excuse the cat. Here is um, a peristomal hernia and how to pouch it. So you, your um, hernia is gonna be pretty firm. If it's firm, then you're gonna wanna go with a flat, flexible pouch. Um, and then here is like hypergranulated tissue or possibly just irritated skin. I'll show you how to treat that as well. So first you're just gonna measure. That one's way too big. That one's too small. So it's gonna come somewhere in between here. And what we're gonna do is try and get on this one piece flexible as, as close as we can. Um, so I know that it's between the three inch and the two and a half. So I'm gonna just kinda go in an oval shape because my stoma's a little bit oval. When you're cutting a one piece, make sure that you kinda pull that pouch <laughs> open a little bit, otherwise you're gonna pop the pouch and then it's not gonna be good. So I'm gonna just kinda cut this the best I think. I just usually try and do it one, you know, just do a, um, a rough cut first and then kinda go back over it a little bit to see where I've missed or where I can cut more. So, here we go. Let's cut a little bit more. Almost got it here. Take a look at that. Okay, yep, that's pretty good. That clears the stoma. So what you'll do first is just powder all these little areas here. It's best if you can get these silver nitrated in the clinic's office. Uh, that will help that those little nodules to flatten back out and spread the powder and then um, ah, then we're just gonna dab it with a little bit of barrier wipe just kind of all around the edges here making a little scab like a crust that's why they call it crusting so I'm gonna do that and notice since I don't have any irritation up here I'm not gonna do anything there so the only time I crest or do treat the skin in any way is if there is something actually to treat. And then at this point, um, I think the easiest way to pouch, to put a barrier ring on, which is gonna be kind of important, I think, I mean, it's to keep this area nice and dried out, would just tear your barrier ring like this and kind of stretch it. And it'll go right, right around there. And if it doesn't reach quite, that's okay. You Make sure you're getting it over that irritated skin. And if it touches the stoma, that's fine. This barrier ring is fine to do that. So want the, um, the stoma to be exposed, the barrier ring to go right close to the stoma. And then this is gonna be cut, so I've cut this to just fit the stoma just a little bit larger. And that will help to um, get these hypergranulated areas and this irritated skin to dry up. I think the easiest way of putting a pouch on when you have a hernia like this is um, if you can stand in front of the mirror, that's probably the best way. If you can't and you're sitting down, I would tell you to just kind of grab this last, look, you can kind of see through here, grab this edge and then sort of just pull it on through. And then you would pull your, pull it kind of tight all around. Again, this you're going to kind of just form it around that hernia. Take this off. There you go. And then you're going to just, you know, with a warm hand, hold it so it's really going to get on there good. And there, the stoma is just exposed. And you've got all this irritated skin covered by the crusting and then the barrier ring as well. I hope that helps.